Oh, what's a guy? A welcome to another edition of Bet and Ballers. And today we're doing our a preview of Chelsea or who's, who's playing at home? Southampton, Southampton. versus Chelsea. Chelsea, of course. Awesome. <laughs> welcome to the Bet and Ballers. Ain't got no time for no stallers. Yeah. We are the risers. We're the performers. Our channel is growing wider and taller. Yeah. We're here to give you the news about your dear beloved blues. Yeah. So if you like this YouTube channel, like, subscribe, and turn on that bell. Yeah. So Zane, back to back defeats. That's like Arsenal like or Tottenham like, isn't it? That's not. That's not, not something. Not our that's it. That's not something we've been accustomed to um, at Chelsea. But you know what? Um, it is what it is. You know, we need to. We can't have three in a row. That's unheard of at Chelsea, isn't it? Yeah, I've, I've never actually seen it. Yeah, we don't do that. We don't do three in a row defeats, do we? It's so we awesome. need to get back to winning ways. If we do have three in a row, then it really is going to be a crisis time, isn't it? Have you noticed something as well, Zane? I haven't. I stopped wearing my shirt with a three. I'm not. I'm not giving them any sponsorship anyway. Right. Anyway, um, game against Southampton. Big game against Southampton. So we're going to do it slightly different now because we've done. Well, I remember when we played Southampton earlier on in the season. We already went through players who played for both and head to heads and stuff like that. So um, this time we're just going to have a little chat and we are going to have a little quiz. Zane. We're going to have the quiz and head to head in one today. Right. So, let us do that, actually. So, we played them earlier on in the season. Can you remember the score? Two. I can't remember the score. Two, one, three, one. Three, one. Yeah, three, one. Three, one. Can you remember the scorers? I can't remember Two. the scorers, actually. Lukaku, I think Lukaku scored. Lukaku, didn't he? missed the easy... I remember he missed that easy chance when he came. I think... Who crossed it? I think Reese James crossed it to him. And he... Remember, and he... Hit the post. Oh, I remember he scored, actually. He hit the post and it came out to somebody who scored. Can you remember who oh, that was? No, somebody oh. who we're badly missing now. Oh. Werner did score, actually. He scored. I remember we were. it was 1-1 for a long time. James Ward-Prowse, I think, got a penalty. We scored two goals in the last six minutes, if I, if I remember correctly. Can't remember who scored our first goal, though. I can't remember who scored our next two goals. I can't remember who scored the Is first it, one. Wait, we're missing him badly. Yeah. Someone we're missing really badly. Chilwell. Chilwell, yeah. Remember, uh, Lukaku, the ball was crossed. Lukaku went to the post and he was from about two, two yards out, he hit the post. Then the ball came back out again. It came to Chilwell. I think Chilwell smashed it in. And the team out in Verna actually scored. He's so done you got, big things this season. It, I know, if he had stayed fit. You know why I remember Timo Werner scored? Because he doesn't score that often. <laughs> <laughs> so you, re you remember the <laughs> games that he does reason. score in. Yeah, exactly. Oh, who scored the first goal? I can't remember. Was it? Oh, Shalabar. It was a header by Shalabar. Yeah, Shalabar scored a header. That's right. Was it a header? I think it was a header. Or was it yeah. like a scuffed header? I th maybe. It hit the floor, yeah, I think so. So yeah, so yeah, so so three one we beat them. Um, but our record at St Mary's isn't great, is it? We um. We we haven't remember they they beat us no they beat us at Stamford Bridge that year remember that guy three two oh yeah the last um, minute they scored the first no, 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 no. oh no that's to equalise to make it three remember that one yeah that was three three when we were three one up and that was under Lampard but then they scored they beat us a couple of years ago was it under Lampard again where um, that guy chipped the ball over the, and there was a kid, he was um, Ophi, Ophi Yemi or someone, wasn't it? I can't remember who it was. He scored this, they beat us 2 0. He scored a goal, and then the old boy, uh, of course, his name is Winger. He's a winger, and he chipped it over, lifted it over the K goalkeeper. Black guy who plays on the wing for them. Why's my memory gone? Anyway, yeah, I can't remember. I'll, I'll remember it after we've done the video. Um, begins with R. His name begins with R. But no, not Bertram. It begins with... Oh, oh. No, 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 that's gone. Yeah, anyway. So, why do you think we started losing games? Because um, Chilwell well started... In, yeah. And also but, Roman Yeah, exactly. Uh, no, I'm talking about just after the international break. Two things, the international break. And I think 
What I think, Zane, is that I, because obviously when this Roman Abramovich thing came out, we won five uh, five games after, didn't we? So we weren't too badly affected. But I think what happens is that Thomas Tuchel's done a great job in managing the players and keeping them and uh, away from all the noise that is going on. But when they went off international duty, they're coming out of that environment of you know coming going into Cobb and to train and everything else. So they're going into a different environment. Maybe and people talk, don't they? They some people may have been taking. You know, they, you know what footballers are like, the banter. Uh, you may not have a club soon. Um, Mason Mount or whoever. Who else went on international creep for the duty? Um, Kante. Kante. Oh, yeah, your, you know, your club may be busting. Come and play for us. You know, Boy, cause you, may not, you may not have any money anymore. To, you know, the club may not be able to play, pay, for, play, um, pay you your wages anymore. So that sort of stuff may have been going on in the changing rooms. And, and, you know, that little bit of banter. And uh, although it's banter, it can you know, play on their mind and affect them. So I think that may have played a part as well into why since the international break our performances have been so poor so you know now it's up to our manager to work his miracles again work his magic and try and get them back to play in that the way they were before you know we weren't playing great but we we're getting results let's try and get the results that we were getting before um the um, international break so um i'll tell you a little bit about southampton zane because um Obviously, um, we did a bit of history before, but uh, some history. We had, you, you heard of Matthew Harding, didn't you? The guy who came in. They've got a stand, the Matthew Harding stand, yeah? You know Matthew Harding, no? Yeah. Yeah, so he was a billionaire, not really, a millionaire, actually, who came in when Ken Bates was here. And, um, he, yeah, so he, he came in, he, in to invest a lot of money. Why am I talking about him with Southampton? Because he was what, a player from Southampton who... He badly wanted, and you know, and this is one of my favourite players um, in the nineties, I think. And had we got him, I'd have been over the moon. His name's Matt Letizia. You heard of him? Yeah, yeah, yeah Matt Letizia. <laughs> yeah. He, he, <laughs> he did a bit of work on Sky before. He was a Sky pundit, but he's no longer there. But had we bought in Matt Letizia, then ah, oh, what a player! What a player! But in the end, he decided to stay at Southampton for the. He wasted his career at Southampton because a lot of the other big clubs wanted him. But you know what? I, I commend his loyalty. No, he didn't. Right. He didn't bit, move on to bigger it, things. You know, it's a bit like Harry Kane, actually. You know, staying at a club, he's never going to win anything. So, yeah, that sort of scenario. <laughs> yeah. But the difference is Harry Kane wanted to leave. Matt, Matt Letizia had a few occasions to leave, but he didn't leave in the end. So, that's my Chelsea Southampton story. Have you got any Chelsea Southampton stories? Mostly one time. Um, Chelsea blames Southampton. I said we beat them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I remember you... when Giroud scored like two goals against. Them. Oh yeah, not uh, that's the, the not two goals. Remember the F? I thought you were going to talk about the FA Cup semi final we played and that Giroud goal. Remember that one where we beat about three players and knocked it in in the semi final. Yeah. Well, yeah, I thought you were going to mention that when you said Giroud. Yeah, but okay. Right, any Southampton stories that you've got? Any Anything from the past, from the present? Oh, 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 I was going to say from the future. <laughs> 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 no. uh, no, okay, I've got a story for the future. Um, <laughs> tomorrow we beat them. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a, we beat that, them 3-1 tomorrow. That brings us nicely onto the score prediction. Yeah, 3-1. That's a future one. So yeah, that's the future. That, that, Listen to Zane. Zane we, if we win 3-1, I want Actually, you to... 2-0 tomorrow. You know what? 2-1, you're saying? 2-0. Two 2-0. Two it was 2-0... I, don't, I know it's a preview, but I want everybody to come back on here and give this video a like if he's right. And it's 3 2, two nil, sorry. I'm going, it's going to be tight. It's going to be nervy. And because of our past performances, I think we're going to tighten up at the back and, and try and, and defend better. And I think we are going to go come away with a one tight 1 0 victory um, tomorrow. What do you guys think? Stick your comments in the section below. Until then, guys, don't forget. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on all post notifications so you'll be able to try when make a video. Share this video and comment down below. And can you please get this video to 55 likes? 55 likes. I'm still trying to think of the player as well. Begin with, oh, oh dear, I can't remember. Anyway, put his name in the comment section below if you remember who I'm talking about. Okay, take care, guys. Bye bye.